I think one way to think about it is a, a Noah's Ark type of activity where we're trying to save corals, uh, species that are of concern, uh, so that they can be preserved, conserved, and be able to be put back to the reef once this disease epidemic has passed. In the last four years, we've had a tremendous uh, uh, ecological event called coral disease, and it's devastating our corals here in southeast Florida. It's gone through the Keys, and it's now approaching the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico. So it's a tremendous uh, opportunity to try to understand this uh, devastation and also try to conserve what corals are left. Today we're actually going to be receiving 341 corals from the coral rescue plan that has been underway in the Florida Keys. It is very difficult to collect corals from the ocean and bring them on shore into different conditions and maintain that level of healthiness. So for us, our goal is to make sure they remain happy and healthy until they're able to be transferred to their long-term facility. Um, in order for this project to really be a success, it's that long-term storage of these corals that's important. So our, our step here at the beginning of that phase is to make sure the corals experience the least amount of stress as possible. I like the, the, the relationship for Noah's Ark because in a way I, I agree it is. We are trying to preserve some genetic diversity, but uh, I think this time we're going to need a little bit more than two of each species.